Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, and I will be joined with Hubcap. He's not in here yet. So today we're putting sparkles on the raven. I did get it finished, burned. It has been sealed. That way I could add the more sparkles and more snow that I want in it. I hear him coming. Now the paper is going to rattle. Hopefully, let me know now if that's too loud. It's just I have newspaper underneath it. But I didn't want to advertise anything, so that's why that's it. You are late. I'm sorry. First time. <laughs> I've kept in a while. <laughs> in a while. So the blue that I have on here is actually a stain. I have it linked down in the description. And what it's called is Intrinsic Midnight Blue for this color. Let me get the glare off. There we go. This is by Martin Sabin Mixies. They're water-based, thankfully. And I wanted to use the blue. I still need to review these. But there's a little hint of purple in it. It's kind of hard to see. But I really like them. This is out of the UK, out of England. But the, what I link down below is for all the different distributors in different countries. In the US, there are two. One in Missouri. That's on the page. I have the sample bottles. These come in really big ones. He's a wood carver. So his focus is on that. But I really wanted to try it for uh, wood burning they are not life fast what i have sprayed on here is the uv archival spray to seal it first that's what i used and then i can do the rest of my decorating and the sparkles which the sparkles we're going to be using is this extra fine glitter but first oh and for the white that's already on here i used the uh, bleed proof white I'm going to use, oh, and these are the different colors for the, the set. So it gives you options. So first I want to put some more white on here before <coughs> I put the glitter because the glitter is going to be clear how we're doing it, especially. So let's get that on first. I'm using Hubby's uh, airbrush paint. We're going to, I've got opaque. And the detail, is that opaque or is that? The detail is transparent. That, this is transparent? Okay. So we will put a little bit more white on here. And it's not going to be as, um, as much as what I've got now. I just want to be, let's try the detail first. Kick, kick, kick. Have you already said hi to everybody? I have not. And I can see we look out of we focus. Got some, some new people here too. New people? We got new people. Oh, Moritz is here. Hey, Moritz. Hey, Moritz. Uh, so crazy lady. Michelle. Uh, grandmother. Grandmother, yeah. I don't know that username. Whose name, whose name is actually Wanda. Probably. Oh, hey, Wanda. Uh, Arlene R. Hello, Arlene. Um, Andrea is here. And Andrea, Sharon, and Spence. And hello, 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 Val. Val Daniels, yep. Um, Barb. Shirley Noir. Carmen. Oh, hey, Carmen. Uh, Pelletier. Uh, Marley S. Marley. Um, Spence, of course. You already said Spence. Don Abbott. Hello, Don. And I think Barrow, Barrow, of course. Yeah, we got Barrow. Barrow, we got to have a talk. And that's it. He's on the naughty list. So, yep. So that's I'm it. getting some paper towels so that I can wipe any water off. I do have water in front of me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more of... Why do you have Twizzlers in here? My what? You get Twizzlers in here. It's from the Smart Art Box. I'm just going to oh, tap okay. in. Because what it is is the not as bright ones will look further away. And the closer ones will be brighter. So that's why I've got some of these that are probably hard to see. And I can actually go with the bigger dot to get it closer. So I just want to get these laid in and I wanted to show you how I was doing it. I did record staining the base. Cindy Von Nostrand is here. Hello Cindy. And Carmen, yes, I pronounced her name perfectly. Yay. I know there's a glare. I wonder if you guys can see better if I do this. Mm. But then I'm not as bright. <laughs> Also have right Morningstar <coughs> MB Church Vicksburg. 
Oh, Angela. That's, a, that's, a lot that's of the one you got in trouble for. What did I get in trouble for? Remember, you missed her. Well, and I didn't I miss her this time. No. But I've gone blank. Is it Angela? Hmm. No, I feel horrible now. I told her I would never forget once <laughs> you got in trouble. I'm going to yeah, angle this up so I can see better. The snow globe reflection looks really good. See? I mean, uh, it all looks really good, but I'm just saying it looks really believable. I, I, I really like it. Do you want some more on the raven? Because that shows that the raven is behind the snow. Sheila, I forgot Sheila. Hey, Sheila. I did not see you. I'm so sorry. Let's see, we do have. Ah! He got a big splatter on him. <laughs> My hand trying to do that. And Grandmother says, I'd like to have a little snow. I haven't seen snow since 2012, 13 when they left Germany. Oh. Wow. Okay. Is Grandmother from Germany or? I don't know. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's hear about that. That's a, that's, you left a little bit before that. So I do want to go over the snow, snowy background because, again, that puts the snow. We want the snow to look like it's falling in front of everything because it is a snow globe, and I'm trying to be careful where I've already touched any white down. And then we're going to head over to the sparkles. Now, the way I'm going to do the sparkles is with my polyacrylic because this way I know everything goes together. I don't have to worry about... Uh, something not sticking. One thing I always forget to <laughs> remind is what's a rule called fat over lean. Now, there's not a whole lot of rules in art, but this one you really, really should pay attention to. And what that means is you can put a water based whatever it is down first and put an oil base or oil product on top of that, but you can't put an oil base down and then water on top of that, it will actually peel off and won't adhere. They don't adhere to each other. So, in using all the same product, I don't have to worry about that. But if I would have sprayed this with a polyurethane and then sealed it with my brush on uh, polyacrylic, they would not uh, commingle and stay together. They would separate from each other and peel off the wood. In fact, Burl has had varnish peel off her wood. And he believes that's the reason why I did it. So I'm just trying to put some highlights that I want a little brighter in here. And now because I'm using acrylic and the UV spray is fine and then the uh, varnish I'm using is also an, uh, an acrylic version. So all of this will be totally fine, but if I try to put like an oil paint down and then go over it with my polyacrylic, there would be a problem. We want some snow, new snow, on top of our foot. So grandmother, aka Wanda, said um, back in the spring, um, she actually discussed uh, the Germany thing. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. I kind of remember now. I do too. I don't remember the details. I am so sorry, Wanda. So we want to have them kind of grouped together, falling. Because we'd have clumps of snow falling down. It wouldn't just be single snow. And unfortunately, I can see it a lot better here. I think the camera is picking up. No, it's a little darker. I'm just saying, it's, it's showing up. And sometimes if my stroke is like a slash, that's fine. It looks like the snow is on its side and it's falling. It's in motion. So it wouldn't be perfectly round. And then for the highlight that I've already got, I am going to just put a bright along the edge. Get some paint off my brush. It certainly does look snowy. And that's what I want. I want snow. And then we're going to put some glitter because the snow globe has glitter sometimes. 
I guess the, <coughs> doesn't have to be overly bright, but just to accent it. I think I can go with a little bigger brush on this. Uh, I really like the quality of the um, the base of the snow globe with the stain because it brings out the grain and it gives it kind of an old timey look. It looks like a very old snow globe. Well, that's not what I was going for, but I will take it. It, it did go dark, which is totally fine. And remember, a stain is always going to look different on each piece of wood because how the wood reacts to it. Plus, the, the shade or color of the wood is going to interact with that yeah. with that stain. Yeah, that's why, why you got them. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. Oh, Beryl's gonna upgrade her internet soon. Yay! So it's supposed to be way faster. So, you know, from time to time, I mean, the Burl has gone through different yeah. damage control in her house. Like, I'm switching to this device now because the other one's failing. <laughs> you know? Hey, it can't be any worse than what happened last week. Alright. No, I, I'm glad we're not having that problem. What's I reset everything. What's funny is that, um, on a different note, is on the little inset that has us in it. Mm -hmm. So you're, you get your head down and you're looking. Yeah. It's just, when you look up, you can't, here, look at, look at mine. This is. <laughs> that's why I did it. It's just. Sometimes just, you have a bad hair just day. Just a Santa hat. And that's it. The stream is a Santa hat. <laughs> Sometimes you just have a bad hair day. Um, Wanda is going to be moving to Arizona. Oh, where at? Mesa. Ah, well then she'll be there in time for the Desert Wood Carving Show in February of 2022. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've been finding people that live down there. That's right. The show is canceled for next year, but it'll be there the following year. Yep, I'm sure you'll be there too. Yeah, I think it'll be my last one. Yeah. But yeah. I can't do much more there. No. Give other people a chance. Mm -hmm. Her youngest daughter lives in Pierce, Arizona. I have no idea where that is. Pierce. But you probably do. I don't know where every place in Arizona is. I just expect that you do. Sometimes I gotta look it up. Yeah, I know where all the stuff is in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, every single place. There's only five, so... Everybody knows that stuff, right? Let's see here. I mean, all I'm doing is the brush is a little wet, and it's more like dry brushing, but it's so I can get some better groups that look a little further back. And now I'm thinking on the numbers, I might have to um, put a white highlight around them so they stand out more. So Val Daniel says that because they're talking about internet, that they live in uh, a place where satellite internet is our only option. They only get so many gigs of internet. Mm. So and she's using part of that to watch. Oh, yeah. thank so that's you. Very kind. Um, All right, I'm gonna Don, finish that. Well, Val Daniel says I love Sierra. <laughs> thank um, you. We got this in Washington before we left. Um, and then. Hot cocoa time. Don Abbott says I missed your opinion on the intrinsic colors. Um, so far I haven't been able to swatch all of them out, but I really like the blue. Arlene R. says, the snow globe project is so pretty, not what I expected when you first started. Oh, Stunning. thank you. I'm not sure what you expected, but I wanted it to look like a real snow globe. Um, on the intrinsic, I, like I said, I've got the sample set well, that comes with all these colors, and it's... Um, it's 35 for this small set that comes with everything here. And then he's got bottle he's got a big bottle set and I think that was like $80. <coughs> but the bottles are like that big. Um, I'm not going to be using that much, so I don't need that much. So is the um the, it looks to me like the the groove Above the 2000 is actually invented in. And I burned hot and then for the these. 2020 is also invented yep. in. Yep, they're hot a, burns. A really good choice because uh, I really like the quality of that. 
I did not have an issue with traveling. Now, granted, I used um, I used this brush to put the uh, stain on, uh -huh. but I was expecting some traveling along the edge, and I didn't get it. Okay, I was so quite surprised. Traveling. Uh, the the dye going around and following the grain. Okay. But because I also have this stop burn right here, that's part of why I did it. Besides the fact that I need more darks, this stop burn keeps any of the dye from going up, which on this one really wouldn't because all the grain is running east-west. So as long as I was brushing on the stain this way, it wasn't going anywhere. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this small cup. I'm going to take... Popsicle stick? A popsicle stick. Or are they tender pressers? Either. I think they're more they're popsicle sticks. They're really big though. Yeah. But I use these to stir my varnish. Oh. Then I don't have to waste wood. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my small, this is my older polyacrylic. Open it up. Put the hammer away. Why do you have a hammer? Because I need to be able to open this. Oh. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my tongue depressor, or popsicle stick, to pull out some um, poly uh, acrylic. I just can't do it on camera. Now, in doing this technique, because the glitter is heavier than the poly acrylic, it falls down to the bottom and every now and then in the cup I need to restir but this is good in regards to putting it on the burning itself all right so let's pour in gonna, that I've only got about that much in because I don't need that much and I can always make more first time I did this I wasted stuff blue jewel is here hello blue so I just love the base ah. Burl is lagging so let's pour a pretty good chunk in there. Based on this, it got really thick. I am going to have to put... See, this, it looks pretty thick. It's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted a little thinner. So since my popsicle stick is already in the glitter, I'm grabbing another one. I can find the opening. It's almost like when you lose the end of the tape. Yeah, I hate that. And I'm just going to add some more poly didn't acrylic have that to it. problem when I was wrapping presents this no? year. No? No, it stayed. Each one stayed where it was supposed to, and, and I didn't have that. Because normally I do. Normally it disappears on the roll. Ah. Don't spell. Yeah. I use my nail to. Alright, so I'm just adding a couple more in. I have it on the base of my hand, I can feel it. So I put a little bit more in, drip it everywhere, because why not? That's going in the trash. And stir a little bit more. Now, there's a reason why I'm, I want to do it this way. Why One, that? I don't like glitter, like falling everywhere. Okay. So I'm doing it this way, what I'm doing is I'm sealing the glitter in, close the lid, sealing the glitter in as I go. So I'm just going to take some off, and then I'm going to just tap it down. And when I go to varnish this, the glitter falls to the base, to the bottom of the varnish. So I can sand over this. <coughs> it won't mess up my glitter because I need to sand in order to brush on more polyacrylic but in doing it this way there's nothing to fall off because the glitter it may be hard to see the glitter not showing up it's there I can see it I'm doing two steps at once and I have control I have control over what's going on. And the reason I wanted some paint down is because when I go to tap 
some of this. We can eat a lot. And here, right now it's going to get cloudy, and what that is is the glitter falling to the base and the polyacrylic coming to the top. But in doing this, I don't have a mess. could use a smaller brush to get smaller. You can also just straight on brush it on. Depends on how much glitter you want. Now you don't have to worry about doing the whole glue. Just make sure that you really clean your paintbrush afterwards because it is going to kill your paintbrush if you don't clean it. And this one's actually doing pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell when the glitter falls with the, the with this white. Just stirring it every now and then. In fact, I can even put the glitter down on the base here. That glitter is actually really standing out. The best way I have control without pouring, <coughs> you know, putting the glue down and then pouring a bunch of glitter on. In fact, I need to do the, pla the places I'm going to do with this brush and then pop it in the water and keep it in the water till after the live so that I can wash it. I'm getting hard. Now, do I want <coughs> glitter down here on the dark, or do I want to put it somewhere else? In the middle here? Well, if you put it down there, won't it look like the, the glitter is coming out of the snow globe? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I kind of like the base the way it is. Let's see here. What about around the top of it? Like, around the... Globe? What up here? Yeah. What, brushing it on or or dotting it on? Mm, dotting it on, I guess. Okay. I don't know how it look. I'm just saying. That. I'm actually going to clean off my brush because there's a lot of probably acrylic. I'm just going to wipe the water off and I can go back in. might be easier to go with a smaller brush. Mm. Yeah, we'll do this one. Now these brushes I won't use for watercolors because... Carmen says she likes the where the base is right now too. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that the glitter should stay in the globe. That yeah. way it looks... Because if, if you get glitter on the globe and on the base, then it gets feel over. It looks that it, I don't know. Then it kind of like loses its authenticity because you wouldn't have glitter on the base. Okay. So well, you could. Just opinion. I get you. I, I'm gonna go outside the reflections as well. That way. Val's Daniel says I think that the glitter should be in the glow part two. Okay. Uh, Morning Star says I agree. I think the base should remain like it is. Now the glitter on the bottom is starting to look, uh, I can't get it to glitter like it is for us here in the studio because there's some green in it. Can you, how do you see it here? Oh yeah, I see the green in it. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that, wow. Okay. It, it's a big difference from the camera. So, in like, structurally, it looks identical, but there's some nuance that you can't in person. see. Mm -hmm. And like you can kind of now that I'm looking for it, you can kind of see it, but it's not evident. It's not that evident um, when I'm looking. Well, at I it. don't want to overdo it. No, it looks even though I made a lot of. It looks fantastic in person, though. Like it did, it does look good. Like I don't know, I think that subtlety is pretty good. Oh, Andrea Tolbert says she can see it. Oh, good. Because um, when I look up at the monitor, I can't see it the way I see it here at home. Grandmother, oh, yeah. Hey, okay, we'll do this. Set. Okay, yep. There. You can see it now. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like.
trying to get the glare off of it. Um, Kathy says, uh, you can see the glitter. Spence says, I love it. Andrea, yep, I can see it. I already said that. Um, and we'll be doing the same with the fox so cool. next week. The fox next week. I wanted to do both of them today, but I didn't get the fox done yet. Ah. I spent a lot of time. Well, it's been a busy week. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot going on. Marley S says, I need to try this next year. It looks great. There you go. I got a heat. Well, you, could, you still got time to try it this year. Oh, yeah. If you wanted. But this this um, glitter is just from Walmart. Yeah. You, you found it where? In the craft section. The craft section. They had um, two kinds, but this this was more. This was finer. Yeah, I wanted to find. And fun. the other other kind was flakier, and I figured. Mm -mm. You would well, it work. could work though too. Granulated. You, you do see the the. <laughs> Val says the socks, and then she says, "Oh, the fox." Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to hit the glare so I can see how much more I want. Grandmother said, oh, Marley S. about getting this year says, nope, no time. I understand. Uh, there's, there is more things that I have to do than I have time for. So. Well, while we're sitting, what else can I glitter? Because I've got... <laughs> I think you're there, love. I think that's it. <coughs> um, Excuse me. As I'm saying, I've got, I think, where I want to be. But I've got all this glitter made. <laughs> I mean, I could. Because I never finished this. It's the same concept as what we did <coughs> with the snow globe. I'm just going over. And actually, this would have been a better choice, I think, for the um, snowflakes. So... Wanda, aka grandmother, wants to know how did you find out what your spirit animal was? Ravens come to me. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. They come to me. Mm. They come and visit and hang out with me. Um, for you, it's a little different. Yeah. yeah. So in in the culture that I grew up in, um, which is kind of weird, because um, went a little thick on that. Being Cherokee, but but being raised by not being raised by, but we spent a, a good amount of time with um, Clinkets and Haida in south southeast Alaska. But in their tradition, ravens are um, your ancestors come to visit you, and but in uh, what I was taught growing up is that if you see an animal over and over again, and it keeps coming, especially if it comes at an unexpected time, then then that's your spirit animal. So, so if you see it's something some, you can meditate on. So if you see something over and over, something keeps coming up. And I teased Val about spiders being her spirit animal. They are not my spirit animal. <laughs> they are not. But they're just harassers. <laughs> they're stalkers. But um, they got nothing to say to me. Yeah. But for me, it's the fox. The red fox keeps showing up in weird places. Especially in Germany. Well, in Iraq. Oh, in Iraq. So um, it was really strange to to be on the road on mission and see a red fox sitting by the side of the road and. So that's how that I know that that's my spirit animal. I know we moved off from the the uh, the raven, but I've got all this product and I don't want to waste it. I wanted to see how it looked on the snowflakes because I got to finish these. But it is going on a lot better now that the wood's sealed. So this was a good test. Definitely seal before. Now, if you don't want to use the UV spray on sealing the wood before you do something like this, you could always use your spray version of your brush on and make sure, like, if, it's, if it tells you to, um, to use sandpaper after each layer, 
to go ahead and do that to make sure everything sticks and, and looks right in the end. So just follow the instructions. All you do is you would put your decorating in the middle. You layer it in the middle. So they're talking about spirit animals in chat. Um, I think Wanda says, okay, most animals come to me, so I guess <laughs> I've got many. Uh, you can have more than one. Oh, yeah. And let's see. Each of them focus on yep. certain aspects. Kathy says her spirit animal is a deer. I wouldn't be surprised if mine is also a deer, based on what's been happening the last two summers. Spence says crows come to him. They walk with Tex. There you and go. Now that he's moved, he has two that come to his balcony. Which again, this is your spirit animal. Make it be your ancestors coming in and checking on you too. Val Daniel said sp spiders can be your totem animal. Yes, they, they can. Come, they I don't want them. To teach you a lesson. I That's don't. Like, don't help him. Val, because Val keeps don't asking them. Don't where her them. invite to Hogwarts is, and I keep I telling know. her that the spiders are, are bringing it, and they are just ready to announce it. Like Valerie, your time <laughs> is here to come to Hogwarts, and she's like, hey yeah, and she crushes them <laughs> before they can get the message out. So she, this is why she never gets her invite to Hogwarts. So <laughs> don't help him, Val. Anyway, um, all right. So I just wanted to test on this. I, I should have gone with this over, and I know it's hard to see. And I still have a whole bunch left over. A uh, whole bunch left over. Let's see so. if there's any place. Now make sure you really let this dry. So if you need to seal, or if you need to get it, get your project out in the mail for whatever reason, make sure you do this many days in advance and let it at least sit overnight even though it's not a whole lot of, of the varnish that we're using it is thicker and so it really needs a chance to to dry so i'm gonna wipe some um carmen says black bears maybe sure because she said two of them come to her for help which hey. is cool andrea says eagles come to me that's wow. fancy lucky um, and Arlene says the wild animal that comes to me the most is Stinky the skunk. <laughs> hey, I got skunk too. So um, they all have meaning <laughs> when they show up at a certain time. It may be telling you to pay attention to an aspect in your life or yourself that you're not paying attention to, or a reminder of something you know that maybe you forgot because of stress or whatnot. Eh. Or they're bored. So could always be that too. So grandmother says, I thought the bald eagles were coming to me and then I realized they're coming after my little dog. Oh no. We used to used to have a cat growing up in Alaska and she'd be outside and she'd hear an eagle or an owl and then she'd just go flat because she knew she was in danger. Because those are, those are some big birds. Yeah. Um, Happens down in Phoenix too with the hawks. Do I want any more? Do I have it kind of? I, I think it looks good. I don't know. What's chat think? It's hard oh, we also to have see. something else to talk about. We do have something so else to talk about. Better, better get that on because we're at 36 after oh, the hour. Okay. Um, put that out of the way. So. Ooh, excuse me. I'm just trying to see if I want any more regular white. So, we are at the third week of the Optima Holiday Giveaway. Woohoo! This week's prize is two Optima pins or $60 Optima credit, whichever works best for you. It is international. Um, that does cover shipping up to a certain amount. And if there's any customs or duty fees, you would need to pay them. Now, in the comments, let me know what Optima pins you are most curious about. Whether you already have them or you're curious about one. I'm really interested in finding out what people... All right, I'm going to stop so I can focus. What they are looking for. So, two Optima pins 
first week we had the the duel with two cords and two pens or two hundred dollars optima credit last week we had the single with one pen one cord or 150 dollar optima credit and this week we have two pens or sixty dollar optima credit and when i say optima credit that means if you don't <coughs> want any specific pens you can use that sixty dollars to apply towards a single or a dual you don't have to just get uh, the pens. You'll leave the comment on the replay of this video of which two pins you are interested in the Optima. There are restrictions for countries, so make sure you read the description about that. Oh, drawing will be held for all three winners on December 29th, a little after 11:30, about this time. I want to make sure we have enough time for everybody who is interested in the giveaways to enter. If I've forgotten anything else. So, uh, Blue Jewel wants to know, are you going to be on next week? Yes. Yep. Yep. Is, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Kathy Grimes says, so sad I don't have an Optima system, but I love one. Well, enter Kathy. Well, enter Kathy, and Optima pins do work on the Birdmaster, on the Colwood, with the uh, Optima cord on the razor tip. The only ones it doesn't work on are, thing, are like the Peter Childs, the Tech Kick, um the true art they don't work on those because those are on the true art and the tech kick the cord and pins are attached and completely different setup let's see here um, cindy van nostrand has a nice comment oh thank you cindy it's only since i've been doing christmas ornaments did i even think about it i don't normally uh mess with glitter actually sharon h says thanks valerie you're welcome. So if everybody mm -hmm. could please hit the like button. D oh, did our friend come by? No. <gasps> our thumbs down friend did not come say happy holidays to us? Mm, no, they didn't. Wow. So grandmother <laughs> says, okay, you drank enough hot chocolate <laughs> my turn. I haven't had that much. Um, I've only had that much. Blue Jewel says, any advice on shaders for big areas? Big areas. The 18L is the one I like. Burl likes the 3B. Uh, this is the 18L. This is the one I use the most. And Burl likes. And I'm only mentioning Burl because if I don't, he'll yell. Hmm. But I like the 3B. Uh, the extra large spoon strainer, especially on, on basswood, is really good. I tend to do the 18 and then go back over it with the um, 3B. Trying to make sure I grab the right one because there's also the 2B. To be or not to be? Mm. Oh, my 3B was not correct. It was an older version. This is the 3B. And this is the 18L. That's why I was having a hard time figuring it out. This is this is the 3B that is that he sells. Now, I had an older 3B that um, he changed how he he bent the pins. That's why it's not out. And I was thinking I lost my head. Um, this is what I was looking for. Merry Christmas to you too, Barbie. Um, That's how it changed. Bright Morning Star wants to know, how do you enter the contest? Just leave a comment on this video when it reposts YouTube. As soon as we end and the comments on the video aren't, the, the chat aren't live anymore, YouTube should allow you to comment, just a regular comment, because when we do... The drawing is only going to be based on the YouTube comments, and you only need to comment once. If you comment multiple times, it won't count those multiple times, and it also does not count any of my comments, and it's totally random. Who wants to know how you keep the numbers straight for each pen? Three years. <laughs> Three years of doing this, and sometimes I get a little off on it, but um, don't get the like the the nine. Um, the 9 MS, I call it the 9 MP, no, that's not the, I, I sometimes get it wrong. <laughs> you do better than me, <coughs> I, even after three years, I'd be like, the one that looks like a horseshoe, the one that's bendy, the one that has the a bendy. ball on it. Well, the problem is, is a lot of them are bendy. Well, exactly. Burl wants you to show, uh, the 18S for Carmen. 18S, let's see, that one I've actually got plugged in. That's the she one you see me please. use the most. <laughs> <laughs> please. She's already on the naughty list. She's already there. Uh, this is the 18S. 
that's the 18L, so you can see the difference. This is the one you see me use on camera a lot. In fact, with the Raven, um, I was using the 18S. I use this one. Actually, I've become I've been using the 18S a lot more than even the 18M. And that way you can see the see the difference. So Blue wants to know, are you going to seal over the globe again? I am. I will do. Um, since I have the glitter the way I do, I don't feel I need to seal because it can still see. And no glitter comes off. No glitter comes off. I will do on this one because I did two spray coats. Oh no, I got glitter down here on the number. There we go. I did two spray coats of the UV spray, which is that one. And so when I go to finish this off, once it sits, I will do at least two coats of my regular brush on polyacrylic. Mm. So I'm surprised more, actually more, how fast. Uh, no, the brush on I don't have fumes. Oh, okay. No, it's the sprays that I have fumes. The brush on, you never know when I do it. Actually, it's already dry. I'm quite impressed. <coughs> yeah, see no glitter on my. Let's see if I can get it to, to glitter, glitter. Maybe if I do it this way. Or not. No, it doesn't. Next time. So next week, we will do the same with the fox. I... I'm um, still working on it, so it's still in its ugly stage. Don't hate on me. Still in the ugly stage, but th this is probably how they will hang on the tree. Um, they will probably hang facing each other, gotcha. since that's you and that's me. Yep. But I, on this one, I've got the um, the glare is a little different on this one. I've got more snow on this one. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to burn the base. This was just me testing it out. I'll use the same blue. Um, in fact, I'm sure, because I showed the card. There we go. This is, whew. now the, co the, the colors, the dyes, wood, dye, wood stains, those smell like hair coloring. So this is um, the one I have. It's very... Honestly, it's a tiny box. Let's see here. So, you see how big the glitter is? That's that's how small this box is. Um. Um, Topper Truthio says, My wood burning pins get uncomfortably hot on my fingers. Is this normal? It depends on what you're using and how you're burning. If, you, um, if you're new to the channel, I burn on an easel and I burn upright because as you're burning and it heats up, first of all, only use the heat that you need. If you're burning really, really hot, most woods don't need that higher heat to still get a really dark burn. But when you're burning flat like this, it'd probably easier. If I'm burning flat like this, this is my wood and I'm burning flat. In fact, I have wood here. If I'm burning like this, all the heat from my pen is going, is rising, and it's rising straight into my fingers. And so it's making my fingers really, really hot. In fact, I've actually, in the past, long time ago, actually kind of melted a fingernail from the heat. But if you raise the angle of your wood, even slightly, you've now changed the angle of how the heat rises. It's now going, instead of back towards you, it's raising towards the ceiling. So the higher you go, the more it gets. My pins don't normally get hot until six. But it's also the way I hold my pin. Um, what I do, because I have small hands, so where the heat hits in my hand <coughs> is going to be different for everybody. So I actually, because the optimal cord is the, so thin, you can also do it with the cold wood and the razor tip. I grab my cord so it actually sits underneath the pin and that gives me just a little bit more buffer if the pin gets hot. It also keeps the weight of the cord from the drag on my wrist so I don't feel anything on my wrist. Um, well, there, there's also too like some of the less expensive burners like 
with yeah, the, I the craft burners. Don't those <coughs> bodies kind of get hot anyway? Yes. Because I know yeah. when I saw you. What, your, the solid? Well, the like, solid tip? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like your first burner like that you have. Mm. Like you have it actually padded with like uh, some cloth. I still have it wrapped with my uh, washcloth. And then I know you used to burn with a glove as well. because No, would, I don't like burning with gloves. Oh, I thought you did. Mm -mm. Oh. Now that's why I did the washcloth thingy with the solid tip because I I need to be able to feel the wood yeah. at all times. I can't burn with a glove. Some people can, but I can't. Oh wow! So yeah, anytime. It also depends on the angle of your pin. See, you can see I got all different kinds. The coal wood and the razor tip change their pin. Their vents go this way, but they're still in the same place. So oh, Goha is here. Hey, Goha. Yes, Carmen, you can get an, ad an adapter cord for your razor tip. Um, Pat sells a cord. It's the Optima cord. He, he does a little different thing at the end in order to plug it into your base. So it's not an adapter. It's a straight cord. And that way it'll burn better. <coughs> yep. Who is it? What did I miss? Um... What did Michelle say? Ed, no, so crazy lady, Michelle. Yeah. She says she, we have a fellow in Canada who sells these colors. He, here's our Yorkshire guy. Yeah, just look, just click on the description that I have for the intrinsic colors. And what it is is a specific page that's for, and I never can pronounce it right. I always call it Hampshire, but that's not what it, it's Hamps, Ham, Hampstedshire? No, there's no T. Hamp, Hampshire. Mm. Something Shire. Yes, and the hamp. Uh, trying to see. I know. I thought it was on here somewhere, but it's not. Um. Cause uh, Martin also makes varnishes, or I should say finishes. He is uh, focused on wood carving. I found him because he's done wood burning, and I was curious. Um. But. I subscribed to him. I liked, liked what he was doing. I do like watching wood carving videos. Uh, and no, my I'm looking because if you're in the UK, your um, your even your sample box will come with a Danish oil with UV filter, but that's for UK sets only. He doesn't send it for the. Oh no, I'm wrong. I got one. Look at that. I've got one. I've just never used it. So this <coughs> this set was thirty five here in the U.S. Um, Axminster um, carries uh, his his line of products now. Whether they're going to have these colors, I don't know. But I did see on their website because um, for Neil and Sheila, there's an Axminster nearby for them because I saw the the town name. Sheila says it's Hampshire. Thank you, Hampshire. Hampshire Sheen. Hamster. That's where. do Hamster Town. No, I was trying <laughs> to get it right. It's like everybody in the town is a hamster, and they. <laughs> he knows. I. He knows that. It's I told time him that. To talk about <laughs> sending out the intrinsics because we're all hamsters <laughs> in Hamster Town. Yeah, he he is a wood turner. He has a web. He has a YouTube. And he does have videos using this, these colors. Is it M. M. Saban? Is that right? Wood Martin S uh, Saban, Saban Smith. Yeah. Yeah, it's just M. Saban wood turning. Yeah, it's right YouTube. here. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and I linked his YouTube channel down in the description as well. Uh, seems like a really nice guy. I've talked to him. He sent this for me to review, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I do want to do it, and that's why there's numbers here because I actually made a board to test on. And he's a hamster. And he's a hamster. Oh. He knows. I told him. <laughs> the hamster keeps coming out of my... It gets stuck in my head as Hamstershire. <laughs> Hamstershire. But that's not what it is. Oh, there, there it is. Ham Hampshire Sheen is his brand. Um, there, I didn't see how many places... There was a couple of places... Oh, I think there's... Like, Ontario had... If you look at the website, Ontario had... Um, his products. Now I don't. I didn't go to every website to see if they specifically carry these, um, but I did check the Missouri and the Texas. They have it. Georgia, they don't have it. 
but so yeah I look forward to using these more do you want this same blue color or do you want another color on your base um, well I I think that maybe because the raven is kind of that color maybe the fox should be the reddish or orange reddish or orange well we got reddish and orange so you need to tell me so I can do it we got flame ruby and burnt orange Richard Brown says, I wish Hi, you both a very happy Xmas and a prosperous new year from New Zealand and look forward to watching your work here next year. Cheers, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. So I need you to pick colors because okay. I'm thinking Ruby. Okay, let's do that. Ruby. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is what's going to be for the fox. Yeah. And like I said, I used Midnight Blue for mine. Yeah, so that's a good raven color. Yep, and his tests are done on sycamore, so the colors may be slightly different. This is birch. Uh, I don't like sycamore. Well, you live. Well, no, because no. I prefer healthy more, because it's a better, more healthy tree. Sycamore. Welcome to my life. Sniffly. All right, Dad. <laughs> we got any more questions? Oh, uh, Val's telling you burnt orange. Um, well, I think that's going to kind of translate to that, though. Um, it may it may translate to burnt orange because of the color of the wood. <coughs> now, with this piece, I am going to have to burn a dark line because the grain. Uh, let's see how the grain is running up and down. Oh. So it will travel this way. Okay. Versus. So you're going to have to burn a barrier line. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a barrier line. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I'm hoping you can see the different. Because this is called short grain. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yes, back and forth is short grain. No, no, no. Up and down is short grain. Back and forth is long grain. Well, grandmother so. Wanda has to go. Well, bye. So do we. Yeah. I'm just seeing if we have... See, God's telling you Ruby. Uh, um, yeah, I, I look forward to trying these colors out. And then also trying... I like that they're not just all browns. Yeah. That's what really drew my attention, and the fact that there's a purple. Of course, the last one I grabbed. So that's the ruby, and that's the burnt orange. They're really close together, but I think with this birch, especially since your birch is a little yellower, even using this ruby, we're going to end up with this color anyway. I think so. Yep. I need, yep. Alrighty, if we don't have any other questions, remember if you still haven't entered for the dual or the single Optima, you can go find the the original video. I, I need to link it. The burning of the raven is for the is the dual. The burning of the fox is a single. And this one today is the dual pins. I will also be posting all over the group and you and Instagram <laughs> just in case. And next week, we shall do the fox. We shall make the fox snow. Don wants to know if there's a possibility of post the steps for the ceiling color and glittering. The ceiling color and glittering. To what do you we could talk about it next week. Is there possible? The steps for ceiling coloring. On it, it was just... The coloring came first then seal then what you saw me on camera today i did record the process i just had to put the video together so, bright morning star these are trakel right these are trakel they are out of them i did link down below there is the trakel link for them they are out but they do have six inch round christmas balls so about the size here Christmas balls that come in a three pack and the code does apply to them. Um, I have them that are just in the kitchen. I forgot to bring them in. Um, and yeah, Michaels may have them. I prefer Trakel. It's just a higher grade of wood, but Michaels may have them. Um, who else? Well, I don't tend to shop at Hobby Lobby. I'm, I don't know. Um, I don't think Blick would have them. Blit, oh, I don't know. I did not look to see if Dick Blick had them. I didn't look. So I don't know. Or Jerry's. 
yeah, I'm not sure. They have the regular birch panels for painting on, <coughs> which is what I'm using. But I, I don't know if they have them. Whew. I'm getting hot. If we don't have any further questions, I'm going to go ahead and remind you of something. Say with me. You all hopefully know it. Okay. You're with awesome. Me. You can do oh. this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and be subscribed.